What's going on guys, Vincent here from the CreativeDojo.net. We're all doing well out there. Today's video, we're talking about a plugin called Atom X. Now this is actually a plugin platform for After Effects, Premiere, Illustrator, and Photoshop. And essentially it is a manager plugin that pretty much hosts a lot of packages, stuff like design elements, stock elements, um, graphics, shapes, transitions, sound effects, all sorts of design elements which you can use in these host applications. And before you guys freak out saying, oh my God, this is another paid plugin, relax. There are actually free packages and sample packages of the premium packages, which you can download right now, try for free, use them in your projects. You know, stuff that you can get started with right now. Awesome stuff by the folks over here at Anion. And they are actually sponsoring today's video. And stay tuned to the end of the video because we're actually giving away six packages to you guys, six paid premium packages to you guys as a giveaway. So stay tuned to the end of the video for more information. But basically, Adam X has a lot of cool features, which we'll talk about today in this video. And as you can see, they have a lot of awesome packages like shape elements, typography elements, sound effects, UI stuff, medical stuff, all sorts of really, really cool stuff, which we'll kind of briefly glance over today. But many thanks for them for sponsoring today's video. But as always, my opinions are my own. And if these products suck, you guys will be the first ones to know, hands down. Let's get started. And I'm not gonna explain how to install this thing because this is basically an After Effects extension. Um, and you install it pretty much the same way. And there are video tutorials linked down below on how to do that. But this is the Atom X extension in After Effects. And this will look kind of similar in Premiere as well and other applications. But in this particular case, this is After Effects. And basically you have the ability to pretty much preview all the elements that you have in the shape packs. So this is the shape elements library, which is one of their most popular packs. And you can preview pretty much all the elements real time, real fast, quick previews. It's very, very fast, very robust. And overall, this whole UI in general of this plugin is very, very fast and responsive compared to a lot of other plugins that are similar to this. And trust me, there are a lot of applications that host a lot of packages like design elements. Um, they are definitely not the first. And I think that out of all the ones I've tried, this UI is definitely the nicest and slickest in terms of speed and you know, reliability. It doesn't look, it doesn't feel sluggish or anything, but basically you have all these really cool design elements right here, like shape layers and explosions, flares, arrows, you know, quick little accents to kind of, you know, add the extra flair to your animations lines to kind of highlight certain text or part of the graphics. So you have a lot of, a lot of options here. As you can see, we have a lot of speed animations, um, different colors, different directions. So again, a lot of variations, particle hits, little accents right here. And if you guys are doing motion graphics, you guys know how much of a pain it is to create all these little side secondary animations, secondary elements like this to kind of add accents to your, your stuff right here. So tons of shapes, tons of other something, these really cool elements right here. Again, a really pain in the butt and kind of time consuming to create from scratch. And, the, and they have like wave elements. And then, so not only do you have shape stuff, but you also have transitions, right? So transitions are very, very important. These paper ones are pretty cool, like pretty cliche. So I kind of like, kind of ignore these. Now these cool grid wipes are pretty nice as well. So if you want to integrate these kind of wipes in your animations or even like your videos for YouTube and whatnot, Instagram stories, um, social media campaigns, you know, these are pretty cool as well and kind of a pain in the butt to set up as well. Now I'm more of a basic guy, so I kind of prefer these basic transitions, very clean, very simple. Um, you have circles, you have lines, and nice little gradients right here to you know transition from one scene to the other scene. Really cool stuff, movement, squares, triangles. I don't wanna just sit here and kind of go over the whole entire pack like this, um, but they basically have the same idea here. And there are some cliche ones, like these fractal ones right here where it's basically like a glorified fractal noise. Um, these, are, these are not interesting right here. But the other stuff are actually pretty nice and pretty neat. And then you also have some special ones, which I think is very, very cool. And out of all the ones in this pack, my favorite one is this 3D cube one, which we take a look at in a bit. But basically, it creates a really nice 3D, um, very like kind of like Netflix vibe um, 3D cube animation, which we take a look at. And of course, text symbols. And this pack comes with some sound effects. So there's tons of sound effects, clicks for some UI stuff, um, clunks, keyboard hits, hits in general. And the most important one I think are the whooshes. So they have a lot of whooshes. Whooshes from different duration, length, sound, intensities. All sorts of other things. So we have you know transitions, shape elements, sound effects. This is all cool stuff. Let's go ahead and actually use this thing to create something pretty interesting. So we have this basic 
animation right here, which is basically just a background with some text right here, Adam X, which I created using the armor type preset from Matt Trunks right here. So this is just a basic text that comes in like that. And so if you wanted to add some extra flair, you can easily do that by going to shapes. If you go into maybe the combinations, which is a little bit of both, you get a lot more variation here. I kind of like combination six, so we'll apply that. And right off the bat, it's going to apply it to our composition. Just like that, really quick. It adds it to the time head right here. We can adjust it to the very, very beginning. And so we have our really quick animation. Now I'm like, man, so this little green thing kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. I'm not a huge fan of that green thing. Uh, we can go into the composition and you're gonna realize that it's pretty much just After Effects layers, which is really great. So you can actually learn from this kind of stuff and not just use it. Learn from it, adapt it, customize it. It's fully customizable and it's all here as shape layers. But you can go into the customizer, you can change the colors like you would expect. So you can change this color here. You can change the shadow amount, the opacity, distance, you know, all the basic parameters you expect to have control over in these elements. But the cool part is you actually don't need to go into the composition actually. You can actually stay out of here and make sure that you click on the actual element itself. And in the Atom X platform plugin right here, you can actually go ahead and hit the customizer button and it'll actually bring in all the control properties in the control layer. So as you can see, we have all the color options, all the shadow opacity options, distance, angle, position, all that stuff. And you can control it all right here. So as you can see, I, I did not like the green color of, of this element right here. So we can actually change this by going to the color two and we can actually select, you know, the color that you would actually want to use and it'll actually kind of update here in the viewer. Now, there is a delay between transferring information from the extension to the actual app project. Um, so I actually, although I think the customer is it's handy for After Effects beginners, um, it's faster for me and it's responsive. It's more responsive in the After Effects UI if you just kind of go into the composition itself and just edit it that way because this is kind of a little bit laggy. Um, it's not the extension's fault, it's just the interface between After Effects and the host application extension. Um, but you know, just something to keep in mind, you have the option to go in here and quickly edit all the parameters in here, which is pretty cool as well. Let's go ahead and add maybe one more element right here, maybe like some particle hits right here. I'm a huge fan of little particle accents like this. I like triangles, let's go ahead and apply triangles. And again, it's going to apply it to the uh, playhead right here. And if we time this up accurately, I want it to pop right at the initial hit right here. So we get this nice little circle line burst and then we get this particle burst at the very end. And the cool part is, is that all this is actually very responsive and it's independent from resolution. So whether you're making a 720p, 1080p, 4K, 8K, whatever size you're using, um, these elements actually scale properly um, and it's responsive to whatever resolution you wanna use. And at the same time, it's responsive to length as well. So let's say I wanna speed up this particle animation because it's lasting a little bit too long. Uh, we can actually decrease the length of the layer. And as you can see, when we do that, it actually speeds up the animation. So the whole shapes column right here is all responsive to the duration of the layer. So you can scale up and speed up the time based on the layer length right here. So you get something like that's a little bit faster fits the timing a little bit nicer. And again, I'm not a huge fan of the green, so I'm gonna go into, select the particle hit right here, go into my customizer, and we can change the kind of like the dark blue to like a white color, like that. And well, you know, we'll, we'll keep the green for now. And so, you know, you can change the scale if you want to something a little bit smaller. And uh, just like that, we have this really nice quick little animation which took about two seconds to do if it weren't for me talking and you can add some secondary accents really quickly um, to your text animations, title animations, Instagram stories, marketing campaign, whatever you want. Um, and so this is the beauty of the Atom X. It's very responsive. You have the built-in customizers. Um, you have a lot of options like you know turning on and off autoplay for certain elements. Um, so if you don't want it to autoplay, you can control the volume, the sound effects, you can scale everything up. So if you want to, you know, scale up the UI or, you know, increase the size, you know, this is, this is all basic stuff that you would expect in a graphical user interface. 
you can reverse the layer. You can actually do some timing controls and all these other things right here. So these are some pretty nice little additions right here. Then the rest of this stuff is just kind of like favorites and tutorials and enter the shop to buy more packages or whatever. And so this is the shape elements library. I think this is one of their most popular products. And again, this is the full version right here, which is a paid product, but it's very, very affordable. And there's also a free version, which you can download right now and have some of these shape layers in your projects ready to go and use. Now they have other packages as well, which kind of really want to cover really quickly. It's not going to be as extensive, but they have the text animation presets, which comes with a ton of presets right here, all with full previews, typography, text animations. These are, you know, more simple. Um, you know, if you're not in the mood to play around with the horrible text animators and After Effects system, that system is terrible. Um, then this is a really nice way to kind of get started with basic um, text animations. You have some basic smooth ones with words. Um, but basically, this is just a combination of a whole bunch of text animators that you can create in After Effects. Um, it's just kind of annoying to do so whenever you're doing it in After Effects manually because the system is kind of sluggish. It's not very as intuitive as it should be. Um, but yep, some some pretty basic properties, opacity. So there's different categories like opacity, position, scale, skew, um, all sorts of things right here. They have coding, decoding, so you accept some randomized text. Um, looks pretty cool, pretty geeky. But again, this is you know this is really not my favorite pack, and this is not their strongest pack in my opinion. Uh, but it's useful for beginners. And so these are the text animation packs. They also have some special ones here like 3D text. You know, this is the text animation preset. Uh, nothing special in my opinion. Now, my favorite package is the great typography one. And if you're on Video Hive, you've probably recognized this. This is pretty popular on Video Hive. So here you have a whole bunch of typography elements. So in the other one, you just had text animators, um, which are basic text animation using the text animators. Here you actually have a lot of typography elements, which you can actually reuse and it doesn't look as corny. So pretty well designed animations where things actually are more progressive, more dynamic, more energetic, lots of variations here. And this is the kinetic, this is the basic block. You have the, the blocks right here. In my opinion, there's more design aspects to this pack than the other pack right here. So pretty cool stuff. Lots of 3D stuff, 3D controls and animations, rotations, lots of, you know, these are, these are kind of things that you would see in an actual ad or commercial or marketing campaign. These are more stylized with paint brushes. So as you can see, a lot more versatile than the, than the other pack right here. Stomps, various colors, various speeds, a lot more energy, um, and just more variation in design rather than the static, boring um, text animators that you see. Boxes, very, very popular. Jumpy, energetic, really cool stuff here in the text transitions. Now the titles is where it gets really interesting as well because not only do you have basic, you know, transition text stuff, but you have main titles. So you can, you can use this for YouTube intros or, um, you know, your Instagram, you know, main channel, whatever stories, whatever you can add lower thirds, reveals, all sorts of really cool stuff. And I think this is where you're gonna get most bang for your buck. You guys know that I always talk about bang for your buck. This is where it's at. Cause I think that almost anyone can actually use these elements in social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Um, you can find uses for this. Whereas I'm not really a huge fan of like very niche products right here. So very cool glitches. Again, could be really cool for Instagram and, you know, YouTube intros and design intros. I'm really a huge fan of these. Lots of variations, lots of designs, shapes, energy, speed. They have lower thirds, of course, tons and tons of lower thirds. And I think these are very, very well designed, you know, not very corny, not very cliche. And so tons of really cool stuff. And I might actually use some of these elements in future videos. You know, these are very easy to set up. And again, a lot of these products work for Premiere as well. So you don't have to use After Effects. You can just go in here and drop in a lower third from Premiere. And it's all going to work very, very nicely. And don't forget, you have the power of the customizer as well. Um, so these are very, very nice. And of course, you have more text presets, which are what we're used to in the other pack right here. So again, you know, I think you can just skip the other pack altogether, the typography pack altogether, and get this big text, great typography pack right here, which contains everything, intro, titles, lower thirds, as well as text presets. So I think this is where the money's at. This is my favorite pack, and definitely check this pack out.
So this is the Atom X extension. Basically, it's a really nice manager for all these packages, great packages, really well designed. And again, like I said, you can download free versions of all these packages that I showed you guys. Links down below in the video description. Now for the giveaway contest, so we're actually giving away two copies of each package. So the great typography, the shapes, the text animators, we're giving away two of each, so six of you guys will actually win a premium package for Adam X. And if you don't win, download the free package, just have fun, play around with it. It's really great, it's really cool. I wanna thank them for sponsoring today's video. All you have to do to enter is to actually leave a comment down below saying which pack you like the best. Give this video a thumbs up, share this video. And in two weeks, I'll announce the winners on my Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube social, so stay tuned for that. And also update in the description in the comments down below. So check it out, two weeks, leave your comments down below, let me know. If you guys like videos like these and you like these giveaways, let me know in the comments down below, give this video a thumbs up. My name is Vincent from The Creative Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.